Yeah. All right. So, Momi, you've all been waiting for our special surprise guest that we're really excited to have on with us. So, we want to welcome. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> it's Brian Langlands and Christopher Windham. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get a chance to say your names, um, but the song speaks for itself, and yeah. the reason why is. Christopher, can you can you tell? Yeah, because uh, slated to come into theaters near you when they open is a movie that I choreographed uh, about the story of Aretha Franklin, and the movie is called Respect. So oh, it's a yeah. feature film, yeah. a pretty yeah. big deal. <laughs> Jennifer Hudson is starring. Um, yeah, I won't do a huge promo, but but Respect is a very very present song in my life right now. Um, yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. So we're, well, we're excited. So yeah. it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. yeah. I think you saw a trailer for it when you went to a movie. Yes, we yeah. went to the... I did, yeah, I saw one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Because we, a group of us went to go see Just Mercy and Christopher wasn't there, but Brian was. And then it came on and we're all like, that's Christopher. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's choreographing it, so. And I was yeah. off on location. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So hey, but before we ask you these questions, just because I um, always, um, I always just think it's fun. Like a couple of weeks ago, um, uh, we when Rodney was our special guest, we asked him, uh, we asked him and Leisha about how they met. Ah, I, I know how you guys oh, met, and oh. it's like a, it's also a very New York story, which I love. So you don't have to, but you know, I'd like to give you the opportunity. I think they have to. They signed I up. Think, I think I'll aside from the greatest story ever told, <laughs> it's one of our favorite stories. You, you go it's ahead. your turn. You go ahead. It's your turn. No, no, I did last night. Oh, they're just adorable. <laughs> so uh, July fifteenth, twenty sixteen. It was ten thirty in the morning. Friday morning, I was uh, walking to the subway, but on Friday mornings, I usually buy the gourmet donuts to take them to work uh, on West 23rd Street, approaching 8th Avenue. And I saw Christopher walking towards me and um, he was really cute. So I smiled and he smiled. And then we walked a little bit more and we each smiled at each other again. And then we passed each other and we both sort of looked back and smiled, and then I stopped. So Christopher <laughs> came back. He said, I guess I should say hello. <laughs> yeah, so he said hi, and I said hi. And he said, if you give me my card, will if I give you my card, will you call me? I said, absolutely. Yeah. So I very deftly reached into my bag, which was very well organized, and I pulled out my card, no. which is a total lie. <laughs> I opened my bag and I'm like ruffling through and trying to find my card and I can't find it. I can't find it. And Christopher is going, I'm late. I need to leave. Said, no, hold on. And then I put my bag on the ground and I crouch down on, basically on the ground and I go, it's in here somewhere. It's in here somewhere. Not even thinking I could enter his number into my phone. Um, anyways, I finally found it and gave him the card. Um, and I called him an hour later. Yeah, and then we had a date the next day at uh, the Metropolitan Museum. That's right. And, and now we're married. We spent every day together so far, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. But well, the thing he I told him later was seeing him fumble for his card and his bag like that. Desperation. Was, was <laughs> the moment where I thought to myself, I like this guy. <laughs> really trying to make an impression and it wasn't going like he wanted it to, but he was being very honest and vulnerable. And it was in that moment, I was like, I like him. He seems like a real person. Yeah, yeah. oh man. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we met. Oh. And now the Dwayne Reed has closed. They've chopped down a tree <laughs> that went, where we met under the tree and the nail shop is closed. So almost everything around where we met is like gone. Oh, <laughs> 
lost your tree. That's so yeah, sad. Yeah, the, the tree is the saddest bit, right? <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. like a little. But we remain. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Don't, don't consider that an omen of any kind. <laughs> yeah. And also St. Peter's, where you guys got married. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 We yeah. got uh, married on October the 20th, the day before Father Stephen left to go to Martha's Vineyard, right? That's right. So we got married um, in 2018. That's right. Yeah. Oh, and along oh. came you. Yes. <laughs> yes. But the, okay. and Deacon Denise was there. There's a, a, yes. a picture that I keep, I want to share with you, Deacon Denise. I think you'll really love it. But I, yeah. I know the one you're talking about. I would oh. love, love to see it. I know it's kind of uh, horrible for me to see that. And Susan. <laughs> yeah, all of our Carson church family and, were there. Uh, Gail. Yeah. 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 The, the OGs. The OG yeah. St. Peter or the <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was really great. Yeah, was very special. Wedding. It was a wonderful wedding. Was yeah, wonderful. yeah, it was really good. Very special. Yeah. And had mom on the on the video, right? Yes, my <laughs> mother. My mother uh, couldn't make it. She was 90, 90 at that time, I think. So we had her basically on the altar on an i uh, on the uh, laptop, and she was sort of up there watching the whole thing. And she had organized a little a little party at her house and invited all her friends <laughs> over to watch us get married remotely. <laughs> oh, uh, Lisha, you you may be on mute. We couldn't hear you. Oh, oh, okay. oh no, 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 sorry. Yeah, I just said, uh, mimicking her, like, oh, my son is getting married. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> her baby boy. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, um, Jahida, Jahida is saying that the sunlight came in right at the moment where you were saying your vows. Yeah, True. it did, didn't it? So Dominic, yeah. uh, he played all of our music throughout the service, and the, the song we chose to come down the aisle was the Beatles, Here Comes the Sun. And so as we start coming down, it was the, the church like filled with sunlight. It was really kind of like a movie moment <laughs> for us anyway. But yeah. And the costumes. <laughs> and the costume. <laughs> the costume? <laughs> well, just what they were wearing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had a nice we flat had suit on. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, but that was how we did it. Uh, there's a million ways to get married, I'm sure, but. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah, such a great story. Thanks for sharing. Shane, thanks for sharing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'd love to see photo. Like, like I, I've seen your wedding photo. In, in oh, your the wedding. one in the. Uh, yeah, in the frame. The the, oh. in front of the red door. Oops. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. You could you could even grab it. Yeah. I'm photo album now. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> such a great picture. Can you show? Can you see? Oh, yes. Oh, so cute. I love it. Right there, yeah. The shadows. That's us uh, in front of those gorgeous red doors. I know. I like wanted yeah. to put that picture. Yeah. You gave us that frame, right? Yeah. Perfect, yeah. You're perfectly framed in the picture. Yes. Yeah. 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 You have your own door. <laughs> you have our own door. <laughs> I'm sure it's not just our door, but we, <laughs> we, we took advantage of it. Yeah. <laughs> it. Yeah. All right. Well, let's jump in to our um, 10 rapid fire questions for you guys. All right. So <laughs> don't be nervous, but just like, you know, just don't overthink it, but just whatever comes straight to mind. All right, who is your um, dream dinner guest and why? Rapid fire was kind of- a Oh, game. rapid fire. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what Brian would say, but I have to be very cliche and say, I would invite Jesus. And cause I'd be like, yo, let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> I have some questions. <laughs> um, I think that would be cool. And if I could invite another person, it'd probably be Patty LaBelle because I think she's a pretty good cook and, and that would be awesome. Wait, did you say she's a good cook? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Very good. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, she Michelle makes Obama. everything. Michelle like Obama. she's a, a big a big chef like that in that way. Yeah. She's yeah. a cook cooking everything. What yeah. do you think? Yeah. Wow, well, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, oh. so I'd want some good food. So it would be my invitation, but her food. But you had to cook. Yes. <laughs> this is there. Yeah, Michelle Obama would, would be my guest. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Of course she would bring a date. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> and then you get Barack, too. So, 
we're good. <laughs> Three couples, Christopher and I, Michelle and Barack, and, and Jesus, Jesus and, and Patty, Patty LaBelle. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That would be an amazing dinner party. That would be a fun story. <laughs> that would be a fun dinner. <laughs> yeah. All right. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Oh, this is my favorite. Um, as I say it all the time, my superpower would be to speak every language known to man, even the dead languages, to speak, <laughs> read, and write every language known to man and I'd include some extraterrestrial languages if, if they <laughs> exist and even speaking to animals. That that would be my superpower. That would be Kling, Klingon too, right? Klingon? Yeah, I would speak it all. Every Star Trek language, <laughs> every <laughs> Hobbit language. Yes. Sorry, yes. Right. And the forgotten languages. That that would be my superpower. Wow. I since I was a kid I always thought it'd be neat to be invisible. Like at will. Right. Um, just lots of people are invisible and they don't want to be, but you know, at will and just like hear things and sneak up on people and just, you know, so, so I thought that would be, yeah. You said, you, you said you'd like to sneak up on people. <laughs> like sneak up and hear what they're saying. I don't know, you know. Self spy kind of thing going on. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right. The next question is, what's always in your bag? Um, a pen and something to write on. Uh, for me, keys and phones, of course. Lip goo and because, you know, melanin, uh, lotion, little mm -hmm. travel size lotion. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I'm... What, what's strange now is I'm not really carrying a bag, but almost always I have my laptop because I take it from home to work, to work, to home, to home, to work. And I all, am pretty much always carrying my laptop. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's your life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, what's, um, what's something that people often get wrong about you? that I'm more upset than I actually am. You know, I, I, I think I get passionate, like even at work sometimes. Um, and they, they think I'm like more something than I actually am. So it, um, maybe I'm just a little dramatic, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no comment over here. <laughs> Um, I think um, I, the first thing that popped into my my mind was my name. Like my name is the long version and not the short version. Um, so I'm totally a Christopher. Um, but I think often people will call me Chris. Yeah. And and uh, I try to not to. It really hurts my feelings. I don't know why. Perhaps I need a, a like a very deep scrub therapy session. <laughs> As to, I'm to, his uh, therapist. Yeah, he <laughs> yeah. hears. He hears. It's like ah. anyway, but that's it, probably. Ryan, you're also his advocate because you've corrected me on that. <gasps> See, <laughs> sorry. I, when I first started to email you guys, you yes, know, um, I got a rather scathing email from Brian saying, "No, hey, no." See, no. <laughs> people think I'm more upset than I actually am. <laughs> there you go. It's all proven. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's funny. All right. Thank you, Brian and Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's that's important. I mean, because it's your name. You're not Chris. Yeah. You're Christopher. Yeah. So. yeah. It's it's yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. All right. I, what, oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, no. Go ahead. No, I said, I guess there's something very familiar about, uh, uh, the, like, to say Chris instead of, so I try to think of it that way, that people sort of like, uh, are making an immediate bond with me. So in a way, that's a very positive, yeah. a positive thing. But I was like, you'll, but still, you'll don't bond more if you call me Christopher, because you'll <laughs> make me go, ah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. All right. So the next question is, what's the last TV show that you binge watched? Ooh. Um, it's either Fake or Fortune. 
Baker Fortune. Baker Fortune. So it, it's a British show. And so during this pandemic, I actually took a little Christie's course on um, um, sort of historical painting restoration and what goes wrong and this, that, whatever. He took um, it. Oh, I won't. Yeah, see. online course. Yes. But, um, so there's this British show called Faker Fortune. And each episode, which is about 45 minutes, um, these, um, the, this um, gallery owner and this journalist, um, the woman from Antique Roadshow, uh, Fiona Bruce, they take one painting, usually a painting that's come in, and they try to figure out if it's a real um, authentic uh, whatever, uh, Renoir, Degas, uh, uh, Giacometti, and, or not. And it goes through the whole process of provenance, uh, style, and then the science. So they start analyzing it through x-rays and signatures and what things are underneath and then the whole history. And you start learning that it's really three things. It's the stylistic, the provenance, and the <laughs> technical. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Anyway, so we love art. We're art geeks. Our first date was at the art museum. So obviously we love art. Yeah. So <laughs> Baker Fortune was our first show. But I do have to say that uh, before that, it was the repair shop, which was recommended to us, I think, by the Caneros. I think they recommended this, this show to us. So that was really good, too, the repair shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a, and what's the provenance there? It's another, it's another British one where somebody brings in something broken that has like a family heirloom. Yeah. And, and they, they and go they about fixing it. it and it, you, you learn about the whole history. Uh, it's you yeah. cry. It's a good show. Oh, I, cry. Oh, okay. I cry. But. Those are great recommendations. I've never heard. Yeah. Of that. Yeah. yeah. No, they're good. Very easy going, very informative. I'm going to look there. that up. <laughs> okay. So next question is, so what book is on your nightstand? So mine is Three Day Road, and uh, I forget the author, but I picked it up in Value Village in Canada uh, about half a year ago, a year ago, and it's about um, Value Village is a thrift shop, and yes, yeah, yes, and, like you get get like five books for eight dollars, um, and it's about um, the First Nations where in World War II, um, a young man was coming back having lost his leg, and his mother picked him up. And she lived out in the bush. And for First Nations in Canada is Native American, um, and uh, and there she's canoeing him back. And over the course of this three-day canoe trip, um, he's sharing slowly because he's also on morphine and this that whatever. He's slowly sharing what happened during the war, and you're also learning about her history and background. So it's this, it's this whole uh, journey in the canoe. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. On my nightstand is um, oh, Nat King Cole. The biography of Nat King Cole. I love his voice. His voice is like, I think my favorite of all voices ever. And I don't know much about him. So I'm enjoying learning about this very, very classic man. And maybe he'd come to dinner too. Yeah. And maybe. bring Nat <laughs> bring his daughter too. He so <laughs> why not have eight? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Un Unforgettable is one of my favorite songs. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. He yeah. takes any song and turns it into like ah oh, yeah. butter, velvet. Yeah. I, I love it. I loved it when they did that, when um when uh they did that the video, like the, the two of them together. Right? Yeah, yeah. That, like, what technology can give you, like a reunion like that, that, uh -huh. that was really special. Yeah. And relaunched her career too. I mean, she's had a very storied life, but um, yeah. She's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, anyway. All right, so what's your favorite meal? Oh, I love pasta. <laughs> Almost any kind of pasta, right? Yeah, you love pasta. I love pasta. I, I love uh, a loaded baked potato. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like sometimes we just have a baked potato for dinner. Mm. For our anniversary, our meeting anniversary, not our wedding anniversary, which was in July, I gave him a subscription to a pasta of the month club. Mm. Oh. Yeah, or the win. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. They send you two pastas a month with recipes. Wow. Um, and uh, yeah, we've been doing that. Right? Score. <laughs> that was great timing. Uh, great timing. Too, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your and favorite? I don't know. I have never met a meal I didn't like. I think that's like, um, <laughs> but if it had to be, it would have to like go to my like grandmother's roots and like fried chicken, um, mashed potatoes and gravies, mac and uh, cheese, mac and cheese uh, string beans, some collard greens and cornbread. It would be like a very traditional yeah. southern dinner mm, wow. that's what i that's my favorite meal yeah yeah you're, you're speaking my love language <laughs> <laughs> i'm getting hungry right now <laughs> yeah. um all right what's the what's your favorite movie that like if it was on tv that you would never you wouldn't pass it pass it i think i mean it's quite a handful but shawshank redemption is like i think probably my favorite at, at the ending I've seen it like goo gobs of times and the ending I'm always like oh, it's like always such a surprise that and the devil wears Prada I don't know something about that story <laughs> just fascinates me <laughs> yeah I think I think two old movies if they were on I, I wouldn't be able to not watch them would be Sunset Boulevard mm -hmm. and whatever happened to baby Jane <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like you just what what's that song she sings daddy daddy um i'm writing a letter <laughs> to daddy anyway, she's crazy we're big bet middle <laughs> they're I both betty crazy. Davis yeah fans, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> oh my gosh too funny all right all right just two more questions left all right <laughs> One is, um, what's a snapshot of an ordinary moment that brings you joy? Oh, I don't, uh, well, maybe, I, I don't know, I'm taking a guess here, but probably us uh, at nighttime watching a television show or a movie with a big bowl of popcorn that Brian makes on our stove that's like with our dog Lou like hoping a kernel of popcorn falls down that's like a that's like a joyful moment if I could live in that all times that would make me very happy yeah and I I was just going to say you know just Christopher and I and Lou and usually Lou tries to sit where he's got like <laughs> his butt on one of us and his head on the the lap of another so he like connects us he he always separates us because he has to be between right us in the middle but then he like somehow connects us with his body yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's right here so yeah yeah i feel like i remember some i, I don't maybe it was during a, a zoom coffee hour and like lou was sitting on i think on christopher's lap and just like i could yeah. not get yeah. enough of yeah him. yeah <laughs> yeah it's very tactile that way <laughs> All right, so your final question is, um, what are you deeply grateful for right now? Our home, our support of each other, our, our way of being a team, our health, um, plenty of food to eat, um, peace and safety. Yeah, I, 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 I think just, for Christopher and for my sister. And because, you know, um, I think two days ago was three months since my mother passed away. And my sister is a great comfort and help to me and my niece and brother-in-law and Christopher. So um, I, I've always grown up, we haven't had a large extended family. So with my mother passing, except for an uncle who's in California who we never see, there's really just my sister and I um, and my niece. So. Uh, I've always had a small family, so um, yeah, it's 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 good. My sister brings me great comfort, and Christopher too. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's such a huge um, blessing to have, like, just family and loved ones that we like really love and care for each yeah. other. I was. Um, yeah. Chris, um, Brian and Melissa and I were talking the other night, and I think it was like Melissa was telling the story about how maybe it was like when her her mom had died. 
and um, their family, you know, like Melissa's family is like super tight. And it's been great to have like the Morgan Wex siblings on our services and in our live mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. even right now. And um, and so she said one of the nurses came in and just pulled her over and saying, it's so great to see a family coming together and really loving and supporting each other. And that there are sometimes when like these nurses see these families and like while the person's still alive, they're like fighting over inheritances and that kind of thing. So it was just striking talking to both Brian and, and Melissa about just being able to have that kind of love and support it makes all the difference in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks guys for sharing. Uh, this fun. <laughs> I'm so glad we had this time together. <laughs> To share a song, a laugh, or two. <laughs> Wait, is, did you just make that up, or is that from something? Oh, no, that's Carol Burnett. That's Carol Burnett's, like, I that's her signature sign-off song. I'm I thought so you'd grab the mop and put your hair out or something. <laughs> That's okay. right. Okay. Basically, anyone under 40 is going to be like, what? what? <laughs> Look up Carol Burnett. Look up Carol Burnett if you don't know this this woman. Is. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot about I forgot about that song. But just the other day, I did see the really famous scene of when she's Scarlett O'Hara. Oh, <laughs> my lord. Terrible. The curtains, the curtains and the rod. I love this dress. Oh, it's just something I saw in the window. No, it's something I just threw on. <laughs> no, she's she saw in the window. Oh, in the window. It's the okay. curtain in the window. Yeah, I mean, it's classic. If you're under 40, just just Google Carol Google Burnett. Google Carol Burnett. Carol Burnett. Can you watch any of that free now? Is any of it streamed? I think, um, I wonder, but it's also, if you have cable, they're, it, they're like reruns on like, I think either me TV or TV yeah. land, but yeah. I'm, I'm sure like little clips of scenes are on YouTube. So awesome. they're hilarious. Oh, uh, remember Mrs. Wiggins. Mrs. Wiggins. <laughs> Wiggins. <laughs> he walks like very slow. And then he goes, oh, Wiggins. and then he goes and he goes back. <laughs> <laughs> we laugh at that but i feel like every morning we're feeling a little bit like tim conway and <laughs> we're waking up and like <laughs> walking across the bedroom like you know age, age is creeping on us anyway <laughs> yeah well it's creeping on me faster than you <laughs> You, you get to see what it's going to be like. You know, right? yeah. I'll, I'll like, be there for you. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, um, man. I stopped you on West 23rd Street. I'm like, just like someone a little younger. Great. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? That's so awesome. Oh, well, thank you guys for sharing. Thank with you. Us. Thank you. I, I have to say we appreciate we've appreciated every Sunday uh coming together as a church community in this special way uh we've i think only maybe missed one or two but it's a really special experience to be connected to our our church in this way in our community and we're especially appreciative of the leaders of this community the three of you others who aren't here but you bring such heart and yeah. light and grace and humor and it's a very necessary thing, I think, for all of us uh, at this time. But we're very appreciative. Thank you. Oh, thanks, guys. Yes, they're just the cutest. Both <laughs> 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 them ever. <laughs> oh, Lou, come here. Say hi, just really quick. Oh yeah, let's. Hi. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, hi, Lou. Lou. What's going hi, on? Lou. Hi, Lou. How old is Lou? We think he's six or seven. Yeah. 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 We but got he's him. He's got uh, a little gray, you know. Yeah, he's getting gray. He's middle yeah. aged like us. He's, like, <laughs> he's walking slower. He's like he does not like the heat, so he's panting. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. becoming like Mrs. Wiggins too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I am so going to watch some Carol Burnett today. I know, I know. It's the best. It's the best. Yeah, it, it feels like in your home, there's a lot of Carol Burnett energy. <laughs> a lot of humor, yeah. <laughs> yeah, especially that kind of humor where it's like, uh, 
one person is saying one thing and the other person thinks it means something else. So it's just uh -huh. like, <laughs> then we go, oh, we realize we're talking about the same thing anyway. So. Yes. <laughs> same time. Well, all right. Well, blessings on your week and thank you to our special thank surprise you. guests. Yeah, everybody who's been hanging out with us on our live stream and is still around. Yeah, have a great week. We love you. We're praying for you. And we'll see you next time. All right. See you guys. Bye. 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 Welcome to Zoom Coffee Hour. Yeah. yeah.